takes you to a place of like, ah, you know? super excited for this video if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel I'm so glad you are here I'm a cosmetic chemist specializing in natural hair care and the creator of curly chemistry where I teach you guys how to understand ingredients and products in your hair from a cosmetic chemist perspective and I also hope you guys start hair care lines as well and then in this video I'm sharing the silent secret that could be affecting your hair growth and a lot of times we think it's the product or what we're doing or not doing that's making us have slower hair growth or excessive shedding but what if it's this one thing that is the culprit you know so in this video i'm sharing what that thing is how it actually affects our hair growth cycle and what are some solutions that you can implement today to start seeing some celebrated hair growth so stay tuned okay so let's just jump straight into it the silent secret is stress okay and stress has such an effect on our body stress has the ability to shock our system and you know stress can be from a change in relationship a change in your job a death of a loved one and with the shock to the system stress can also increase the stress hormone within our body also known as cortisol and i almost want to say that cortisol has the ability to force the antigen phase to go directly into catagen slash talogen phase and if you guys are familiar with my channel you guys know that the antigen phase is the active growth cycle seeing your hair is actually growing from the follicle whereas the catagen phase is the resting phase where the growth has stopped talogen is when your hair is shedding and typically in this type of environment this is inducing talogen effluvium which is a condition where you have stress related hair loss this is where 20 to 50 percent of your hair on your head is going through a shedding process and this can last to around three months or so now what can we do okay if this happens to you or even how to prevent this from happening to you because you know life happens stress happens okay so with all that being said let's talk about some solutions so number one ashwagandha okay ashwagandha is a plant it is trending right now it is a very popular ayurvedic herb ashwagandha has been known to decrease the cortisol stress hormone which is great so ashwagandha can be used to help relieve stress on top of that ashwagandha can be good for regulating the hair growth cycle so even if you're not stressed out but your hair growth cycle is kind of out of whack ashwagandha would be great for helping to bring balance in regulating that cycle so that you can start seeing some consistent hair growth as well number two is going to be my favorite lavender i think lavender is amazing lavender tea lavender oil lavender i mean it's just it's great so lavender is great for relieving stress you can do like the little what do you call them things the little air the air i can't think aromatherapy thank you someone said it out there but the aromatherapy and it's also great for promoting hair growth as well so lavender would be the second pick and then number three is going to be chamomile which is also known for reducing stress and also known for stimulating hair growth and blood flow to the scalp to promote hair growth as well. If you guys wanna start incorporating this into your regimen, you can do some DIY you know, oils with ashwagandha, infusing the herb into an oil, or even adding a few lavender drops, chamomile essential oils to your carrier oil. Put that on your scalp, you know? Use that multiple times throughout the week. Or you can look for products that have ashwagandha, chamomile, lavender within them, or even take Take some teas, drink teas, herbal teas with these ingredients. So you have a plethora of options to start seeing some hair growth, a reduction of shedding and hair loss, in addition to relieving stress as well. All right guys, hope you've enjoyed this quick video and learned something new. Of course, I have a question for you. When it comes to Ayurvedic herbs, especially, you know, talking about ashwagandha, you know, what is like your absolute favorite Ayurvedic herb or oil? Comment below, let me know, and maybe you're not even into Ayurvedic herbs, or you don't know about them as much as you would like to. Comment below as well, but let me know which 
Ayurvedic herb have you heard about that you're interested in learning more about? Because I do want to do a video specifically on Ayurvedic herbs and the science behind them as well. So comment below, let me know, and I cannot reach on the conversation with you. If you like this video, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more Curly Chemistry content. Make sure your notifications are on to stay in the loop. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Charmaine369 to stay in the loop for more Curly Chemistry content on a daily basis, especially for my live Q&As as well. And if you're interested in learning more about ingredients in the natural hair care industry, you can check out the Curly Girls Guide to Hair Care Ingredients. I just have a link below for you with more information. And if you're interested in starting a hair care line, no matter where you are in the world, you can work with me one one on one, I have a link below for you as well with more information. All right, I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.